And good evening, everyone. I'm Joe Gazin. We hope you're safe and healthy wherever you are tonight. Leslie has the night off. We're going to begin on the island where Coast Guard crews are still searching at this hour for a swimmer reported missing yesterday off the north jetties of Packery Channel. Our Alexis Green is live at the scene tonight to give us an update on what is looking sadly more and more like a recovery effort. It is tonight's top story at six. Alexis. Thanks so much, Joe. Now, as of this hour, there has still not been a recovery and the body has not been found. Now, they are searching for an 18 year old swimmer who went missing here near North Peckery Channel Sunday evening. Uh, law official law. There's been multiple law enforcement agencies out here searching by drone on boat, even a helicopter to try to locate the 18 year old. And now officials say they were not ready to officially release the identity as the recovery is still ongoing. But I did get the chance to speak with his mother a few moments ago, who says it is her son, 18 year old Andrew. Bass of Corpus Christi. Officials are still warning surfers and, and beachgoers out here to avoid these these uh, areas near the jetties as they are very common for rip currents to occur. They could happen anywhere, but we seem to see more um, near the piers and near the jetties. Now, I spoke with his mother who says that all she asks is that they pray to find his body. Now, this is still a very developing story, and we'll be sure to keep you updated with the latest. Lexus Green, 3 News. All right, we will keep monitoring that development. Thank you, Lexus. As we all know, while the island beaches can be a great opportunity for fun and recreation, they can also be a dangerous place, especially if some common sense rules are not followed. So. As we approach the Memorial Day weekend, emergency personnel are urging beachgoers to be aware of their surroundings and be prepared to take action to save a life. Tonight, our Ashley Gonzalez tells us what experts say we should keep an eye out for at the beach. Traditionally, Memorial Day weekend fills up our beaches, and although we're all long overdue a vacation, the beach can come with its fair share of danger. <laughs> Beneath that water can be dangerous rip currents that cannot be seen, only felt. That's why these flags exist, to know what's going on below sea level before you get in. They serve as a warning. Be mindful of the flags. Uh, the public will see there's uh, colored flags at the entrance to the beach, as well as on the lifeguard stand. And just to be on the safe side, there are places you can avoid. Here, jetty, rock structures, um, because rip currents, uh, according to research, they are consistent around um, those particular type of structures. And they will always be there, whether it's a green day, yellow, red, you name it. The city's Parks and Rec Department says they'll be ramping up on staff heading into the holiday. Ten new lifeguard stands that will be, uh, that the public can find along the Gulf beaches, and also one lifeguard stand at McGee Beach. And in addition, we also have mobile lifeguards. They also say, if you're a weak swimmer, it's crucial to let the people that you're with know, or even a lifeguard, it can save your life. Reporting from White Cat Beach, Ashley Gonzalez, 3 News. All right, Ashley, thanks. So we do want to check with our meteorologist, Alan Holt now, who is here to tell you what you need to know, what you need to watch out for, for rip currents while out on the beach. Some interesting information here, Alan. Yeah, everyone's been sharing good tips uh, with everybody. Ashley has had some good ones there uh, about the buddy system, but they're right. They tend to happen near uh, structures like jetties, the Packery Channel or Bob Hall Pier that are in the water and jut out into the Gulf. What the rip currents are, are basically streams of water uh, that can be very powerful and pull swimmers that are near shore out into the Gulf that can induce panic and a lot of times people that are not familiar with rip currents will start to swim back against that current, which is a battle that you're probably not going to win. And that's when you get fatigued and then bad things happen. So what you want to do, the best thing to know if you feel yourself getting pulled out from the coast is to swim parallel to shore. These aren't terribly wide, so you can get out of the stream of them and then you'll get into a more favorable uh, part of the Gulf where you can swim back into the shoreline. So rip currents are definitely problematic here. Uh, we see stories like this unfortunately happen on a regular basis, especially around big weekends like Memorial Day weekend coming up.